So your name and your date of birth? Antoine Trayvon Ware, date of birth, 06-12-1997. Thank you. Can I get appearances, please? Scott Wolfram for the state, Your Honor. Thank you. Amy Kalman and Eleanor Knowles on behalf of Mr. Ware, who is present and in custody. Thank you. Sir, you are here on a new case out of Superior Court. The counts are one count of murder in the first degree, a class one felony, one count of kidnapping, a class two felony, one count of child or vulnerable adult abuse, a class two felony, and one count of abandoning or concealing dead body parts, a class five felony. Does the state wish to be heard at all on probable cause at this time? Your Honor, the uh, state has uh, uh, significant concerns about the subject's uh, flight risk, uh, safety to other witnesses in this matter, and uh, to the community based on the facts that have been provided in the probable cause statement. Uh, it's self-explanatory in terms of uh, the nature of the allegations uh, before the subject. State's requesting a million-dollar security appearance bond in this matter. Okay, thank you. We'll get to that in a moment. The court is appointing the Public Defender's Office to represent you, Mr. Ware. You have a status conference on March 15th at 8.30 and a preliminary hearing on March 19th at 8.45. Both of those are at 175 West Madison. Do you wish to be heard on release conditions at this time? Yes, Your Honor. There's nothing in the uh, Form 4 that would indicate there is any threats or danger to any witnesses. Uh, there's no indication that Mr. Ware has any failures to appear or any criminal history of any kind. Additionally, Mr. Ware is employed. He is uh, an electrician with Tempar electric Electricity. Excuse me. He's a high school graduate. And uh, he has, as I said, no criminal history of any kind. He also has substantial local ties with a mother, brother, father, and aunt all living in Phoenix. Okay. Anything else from either party? No, Your Honor. The court is going to set a secured appearance bond in the amount of $1 million. Mr. Ware, if you post that bond, you will be on pretrial supervision with electronic ankle monitoring. You may not return to the scene of the crime. No contact with any of the victims or next of kin in this case. No contact with any of the witnesses or officers. No weapons, no drugs without a valid prescription, and no alcohol. Is there anything else that I need to address from either party at this time. Your Honor, have you found probable cause on all of the charges? Yes, I have. Did you wish to be heard on probable cause? I, Your Honor, I would like to note that there is no indication uh, of any premeditation or premeditation style action in the Form 4. The, the entirety of the state's evidence as to Mr. Ware's alleged involvement comes from statements he's made to police, none of which back up any premeditation or possibility of premeditation. Mr. Wolfram, do you wish to address that or no? Your Honor, I, I believe the probable cause statement is uh, clear as to the nature of the actions that took place here. The court does find sufficient probable cause for all four counts at this time. Anything additional from either party? Uh, no, Your Honor, and I don't, I don't really question the appointment of the Public Defender's Office. I don't know if that's Defense Counsel's claim. Are you from the Public Defender's Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, very good. I, I, I misunderstood that part. Thank okay. you. Anything additional? Nothing, Your Honor. Thank okay. You. From nope. counsel? Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Uh, sir, please step to the right. You're going to sign for your paperwork at this time, okay?